back out. I've just parked the car at Kirkstone Pass in and I'm on my way up to the Stony Cove Pike. It's not not that much of a walk. Yeah, and you're already quite high up, so it's a nice and easy one. Just a bit of fun. Um, so I'm on my way up there. Apparently I'm in for a treat, although it doesn't seem like it at the minute, because we're in quite heavily later on. And the winds are meant to be high. They're meant to be high now. I suppose it's gonna get up to about 45 miles an hour gusts. So we'll wait and see. I think I'll have to keep that in mind when I pitch my tent. Right, that's the first bit uh, climbing out the way and uh, now we're just I'm just gonna be walking along St Raven's Edge uh, so far so good uh, the wind hasn't picked up much but apparently I'm in for it tonight like <laughs> might be 10 pound just like to say thank you to anybody who's subscribed to us in the last week or so well, it's so difficult and I've just found out how difficult it is to start a channel away. It's really difficult to get subscribers at first. Um, so I do appreciate every single person that's subscribed. Uh, I just hope I can entertain you. <laughs> On the subject of channels, uh, an old friend, I just recently got in touch with an old friend of mine who I haven't seen for 20 years. Uh, or over 20 years but we used to be uh, inseparable at school we used to be best friends up until we were around about 20 year old I think we've got girlfriends and uh, children and fam family stuff we just lost touch even though he didn't live very far away uh, but I found his channel and uh, it's called Steve's Outdoors NE, I think the NE stands for Northeast. And uh, I think it's mainly, it used to be bushcraft and all kinds of things outdoorsy, but I think it's more about trail mountain biking and like, you know, off the road and stuff, biking and that. And uh, I watched some of his videos and they're flipping scary, some of them. It's all like, yeah, helmet cams, but some of the trails I had to switch them off halfway through to have a rest for a break. I was a nervous wreck. Uh, braver than me. <laughs> I, like, I like a little bit of danger, but not that much. <laughs> anyway, it's brilliant. It's, uh, if you're into that sort of stuff, yeah, even if you're not, it's quite entertaining. Just uh, take a look out. I'll leave a uh, the name, the link in the description of this video, and you can check it out. It's uh, Steve's outdoors, any anyway. Yeah, it was really nice getting back in touch with the lad. He's a lovely lad. If you've got any, he also does uh, fixing things on the bikes and that little videos and put like cassette rig cassettes on and chains and stuff like that. So if you've got any questions for him, I'm sure he'll help you out on his uh, channel. I think he always replies because he's a, he's a helpful lad.
So now we're at the uh, Stony Cove Pike. Uh, now it's all we we'll have a little bit of a, a rest. Look at that. Spotted just down there a lovely flat bed, which I think I'll get a lovely pitch with all the views, and I'll sit and chill. It sounds like a plan. I may have discovered a new camping spot. The weather's in and out now, but it looks the views are fantastic from the bay. I think I'm going to settle for down there. Just down there on that little flat bit down there. That looks amazing. So I found myself a lovely pitch. The sun's sort of in and out. When the sun's out, it's lovely and warm, which is nice. It's fairly flat. That's not brilliant, but we've got nice views. So for this Hilleberg Actor, I don't have the footprint. Uh, it cost £80 to buy. I didn't get one with the tent. Uh, I intend on getting one, uh, just because uh, it would finish it off nicely. It wouldn't add that much weight. First thing first, drink. So I'll keep me cougar and stuff here, windshield. Cooking implements. I'm gonna make some tea in a bit. Um, backpack goes here, and that's got it's a bit like a wall door, but it's got stuff in that I need to keep dry. I aim me drawing my camera, me rubbish bin started off here. A must leave no trace. I don't want to lose track of it. I'll crush all that down so it doesn't take any space up in my pack, but I always take my rubbish home. Um, that isn't water. 
it uh, seems familiar because it's vodka in there. I've got a cider there and I've got a can of pop and some red fondant that mix me vodka with. Um, this is the new sleeping bag that I was on about. It's a nature hike and it's a down four season one. And so far, it's amazing. I love it. Um, as you can probably see, I have two pillows, they're, they're from Decathlon. Uh, I have the bottom one inflated fully and the top one half inflated. I'll probably adjust it when I go to sleep. But this sleeping bag is pretty amazing. I'm really impressed. It packs down really small and uh, it's pretty good quality considering it's a budget down sleeping bag. These are £150. I know it seems like a lot, but for a down sleeping bag, if you're paying for a Rab or a Berghaus or something like that, um, you're paying a lot of money in the th about £300 mark. I know this probably isn't as good. It's pretty good <laughs> for the money. It's a good match for the price. And you've got to pay what you're going to afford. Um, underneath, I've got Berghaus. Pro uh, air mattress insulated. It's insulated, uh, and underneath that is just a, a very thin raw mat for the foil. I don't really use the roll mat for the insulation this time of year. I use it to protect my roll mat. Sorry, my sleeping pad. Um, because I've had sleeping pads get punctures, and it's a nightmare. Down there, it's just a bag of food and water. And the reason why the water's in there so I don't confuse it, but it's in the same bottles as my vodka. The last thing I want to do is when I'm thirsty in the morning is take a drink of vodka. Um, I always, as soon as I sit up, I always put my light up ready. I do have in this pocket some electronics and things, um, including the head torch. I always know where it is. First aid kit in the top left. Um, in my phone there. Can he sleep? <laughs> Can he sleep? Um, fairly hungry for some reason. <laughs> so I'm gonna get that uh, get that pot of water on and have a cup of coffee and uh, some breakfast. Not actually sure what I've got. Oh, I don't think I've ever slept so well in the tent. By God, did it rain last night. And the wind has gone. It's died down a little bit more now. It wasn't that bad, actually. I think I chose well for me pitch. And I watched two films. And had a, quite a nice night.
So that's all packed away. And uh, as always, it's just a patch of pressed down grass. Leave no trace. 